Okay, today we're talking about this. And I'm gonna tell you stuff I'll guarantee you they won't tell you. <laughs> what happened was, ever since we had it, we, it always had a rattle in it, always. And then the rattle got a little worse. And then last week I look at it and the mat is falling down. So I'm going to show you what happened to it. I'm going to take this all apart. Okay, I use this propane line. We bought it off Amazon. It's steel wire braid. Now, all the fittings on this are SAE, uh, 45 degree angle, right? A propane line is what they are. So I don't make none of this stuff. When it comes to propane, I never make it. I buy it. So I put this on with a little bit of pipe dope. Now, I told you before, I still plug this into my barbecue port. Okay, with, the, with this Wave 8 or the 6 or the 3, they have two options. You can mount it like this with the knob up, or you can mount it like this. It doesn't really matter. Now, if you look in the instructions, it'll give you the dimensions that you have to be away from stuff. I mounted it on the side, and it works phenomenal. Like, I don't know why, but it works way better on the side. But that we did was we mounted on angle iron, galvanized angle iron on the back. Now, if you notice the bolts here, right? There's one small problem. How in the, do you get the bolts in there? So what we did was we picked up the four screws that hold the mat. So we'll show you that in a bit after I get it apart. Why? And we put longer screws in here. What you have to do is you take these screws out. There's four little screws right here on the side that hold the front panel, okay? Now, the only thing that you have to worry about, there's some gas lines in there, but you just be very careful, okay? Now, you lift this up and it pulls out like so, over, right? Now, you got your igniter here, the for the igniter, right? So you just pull that wire off that. So that can just go over here, out of the way. Now this here comes off, okay? That's the guard. Now remember what I told you before, don't put your fingers on the mat. The, the stuff on your fingers, will the oil on your fingers will wreck the mat. Now this mat is what it's got is platinum in it. And the reaction between the platinum and the propane gives you the catalytic heater. So that's why you gotta be very careful not to touch this mat. Now, I'm not gonna take it all apart because I took it all apart the other day and I don't really wanna do that again because it's working real good. Now, this igniter, you can change the screws on these, right? You can adjust these and turn them and everything. Now, this is the most important thing, the thermocoupler. Now, in the manual, that's the only piece they say that you can change, okay? Is a thermocoupler, but the mat, you have to send it back to the factory, and uh, any other repairs have to go back to the factory. But most of this stuff, it's just, if a guy's a propane whiz, he knows all about this stuff. Now, the trick to this here thermocoupler has got to be really close to the mat. Like, when I got it, it was way back, and it was a bitch to get going. But I put it, when I adjusted it the other day, I put it right on the mat and it works just phenomenal now. And just remember when you take this off, this line here, you have to hold the with a dummy wrench and take this line off, right? Inside there, look at this, boys and girls. That's an orifice right there. Now usually that's the orifice. And if you don't put that in there, it doesn't work good. Believe me, take my word for it. So you just put that back in there. Now, if you sort of screw that up, that's just an ordinary old uh, quarter inch compression fitting, right? On there, so you can put a new nut on there if you want. And you aim the flame right to the, you aim the flame to the, to the igniter, right? There. Okay, so when it blows, when the gas comes out, it goes right to the igniter, boom, it starts. Here's your regulator here. This is a gas valve. Now this gas valve, if you notice that you light it and the propane lights, now remember, 
very important. When you go to light it, this pilot light does not stay on because it doesn't need the pilot light to stay on because the way this works in ordinary furnace is it burns all the time because it's a chemical reaction, right? So after it's lit, you don't need the pilot light. That's why they turn the pilot light off. So you push it in to get the pilot light and the gas comes out, you hit the igniter and it lights it up. And then you wait your couple minutes and it'll poof and go and then it'll start right up. Now, trace of power is propane in here, goes through the regulator, goes to your valve. From the valve, it goes to the igniter right here. And this one goes to the back of the mat. Now it goes right in the middle of the bat, in the back of the mat. And then this one here is your thermocoupler. Now if you start it up and it lights up, but it won't light, the thermocoupler turns the gas valve on so that the mat will stay lit. Now if you light it up and it lights up perfect as long as you're holding it, and then it goes out when you let go, chances are it's a thermocoupler. Very good chance. Make sure that right here, where the thermocoupler, because what it does is makes electricity to turn this on, right? Make sure that's tight, not super tight, but tight. Because the screwdriver, you make sure all these screws are tight. Like, especially going down the road, I couldn't believe how many things we lose, but we, you make sure all these are tight, okay? And then you make sure that that's close, very, very close to the mat. See, like so. So we tighten all these screws up, right? It's got to be very close to the mat. See how loose that is? That's from going down the road. Okay? That's all there is to it. Don't touch the mat. Now, on the back of the... The screws that we use are the ones that hold this mat into this plate. So, it all sucks it all together. So, I don't want to take that apart because I don't want to mess with the mat. So, yeah, that's about it. And then what you do is you put this... Uh, this mesh the screen on first okay and you set that down and then you get your control panel you make sure you put this on there now don't be dummy and hold your hand there and hit that and you'll get a little shock and then you put that back in there like so now you put it over the valve like that and then you lift it up and you put the little um, feet in there I call them and then you have to push that down over right and then you put the screws in it and that's all there basically is to it it's a very simple heater works like a hot dam and like besides the uh, screws coming out and the thing falling apart down the road other than that I had no problems with it so that's the, the Wave 8, the 6 and the 3 are exactly the same but different in the size. They work exactly the same. So, um, these are a pretty cool heater. I, I, you really like this. I, I like it a lot. Okay, I'm going to leave you with that and I hope you get that. And just remember, this is not a sponsored event from Camco. I wish it was, but it's not. And I'm not Canadian, I'm American because I own one. So that makes me American. So. That's all I got for you.